Known for its stunning views and vast wildlife, the Great Marsh is one of the most important ecosystems in New England. This area covers over 25,000 acres of land in the North Shore, with half of it being salt marshes. The Great Marsh provides the perfect habitat for plenty of plants and animals, including 300 species of birds that call this area home. The marsh is an important resting and feeding ground for thousands of migratory birds that visit every year, and is utilized as a nursery ground for many different aquatic species. Coyotes, raccoons, deer, and other mammals can be spotted lurking through the marsh in search of food and shelter. While the Great Marsh is important to the environment, it is also very beneficial to humans in many different ways. Salt marshes help protect the shoreline from erosion and improve water quality by filtering excess nutrients from any runoff. It acts as a buffer against heavy wave action and storm surges between the ocean and the mainland. They also decrease flooding during storms by reducing the flow of flood water and absorbing the rain. The Great Marsh also benefits local cities and towns in Massachusetts economically. Hundreds of tourists visit this area each year for outdoor recreational activities, such as bird watching, nature photography, hiking, hunting, fishing, and boating. About 95% of the land in the Great Marsh is used for recreational activities and tourism. The shellfish industry is huge in Massachusetts, and the Great Marsh provides ideal conditions for clamming. Unfortunately, the habitat and benefits of the Great Marsh may be at risk as our planet undergoes climate change. As more carbon dioxide gets released into the atmosphere, the surface temperature of the Earth rises more and more. Since 1880, the average global temperature on Earth has increased slightly over 1 degree Celsius, or about 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Although it does not seem like much, this increase in surface temperature causes devastating impacts, especially on ecosystems such as the Great Marsh. Sea level is currently rising due to the expansion of seawater as it warms up. Today we are already seeing the impact sea level rise has on the Great Marsh. The sea level rise affecting salt marshes model, done by the Massachusetts Office of Coastal Zone Management, found that the current rate of sea level rise will cause areas that are typically irregularly flooded to become regularly flooded. This clip was taken during a king's tide at a salt marsh in Essex, Massachusetts. This allows us to see what the tides will look like in the near future. As you can see, the tide goes up against the only access road to the Essex County Greenbelt's headquarters. Erosion and flooding has also been a major issue and will continue to get worse as time goes on. A possible increase in storm intensity from warming sea surface temperatures combined with the already existent sea level rise, could cause areas not typically flooded to be completely flooded for short periods of time. As climate change progresses, winters in New England have shortened and are becoming warmer. Shorter and warmer winters increase the probability of invasive species and pests entering the Great Marsh, only to cause devastation among the marsh's ecosystem. Other impacts of climate change include extreme drought, especially in the western part of the United States. Currently, people are battling large wildfires out west, and as the jet stream carries the smoke from those wildfires across the U.S., we get a gloomy haze in the northeast, as shown here at the Corbett Salt Marsh in Essex, Massachusetts. Although this haze is not directly impacting the salt marsh as much as sea level rise does, it is concerning to see that a climate change-induced wildfire burning hundreds of miles away can cause smoke to fill the air at one of our most precious ecosystems in New England. As wildfires become more frequent, it may be necessary for us to see the impact air quality has on our Great Marsh. The question raised here is how will these impacts on the Great Marsh affect us? As sea level rise causes irregularly flooded areas to be covered with water, 
Infrastructure, such as roads, buildings, and sidewalks located near a marsh will be at risk. A large storm event or even an irregularly large tide could cause erosion near important infrastructure. Damages could cause a homeowner or local town thousands of dollars as sea level rise progresses. With the loss of habitat from climate change, the shellfish industry and other fishery industries will be heavily impacted in the North Shore. There is also a possibility that tourism will decrease as climate change affects the marsh. This could ultimately impact the local economy. Plenty of organizations, including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Massachusetts Office of Coastal Zone Management, and land trust organizations such as the Essex County Greenbelt and the Trustees work hard to conserve, protect, and restore the Great Marsh System. Currently, the Geography and Sustainability Department at Salem State University is using advanced geospatial technologies such as drones, satellite imagery, and geographic information systems to map marsh ecosystems and monitor and model changes caused by climate change. 